All uh, right, keeping on this path here for no particular reason, because again, I don't have any idea. Oh, I'm so relieved. This must be well. That would be pretty small for being L'Oreal. That is literally just one house. A piece of paper dangled from the doorknob. At all costs, travelers should avoid contact with Orno, widely known as Orno the Pale. Oh yeah, we remember this name. A contagion of unknown proportions is already lead. It's not the past participle of lead. Has already led to the illness of three people. Avoid any contact with the door swung open. Him. Owen straightened himself as a haggard-looking man in his mid-twenties appeared in the doorway. His face covered with a bloody handkerchief. <laughs> I got kicked by a mule. I don't know. You are Orno? Yes. He wheezed through the handkerchief. I guess that that's wheezing. And you're on my doorstep. Get away before you're so infected. <laughs> what is wrong with you? The man shook his head. Don't know. Doctors no, no, please don't know. Nobody knows. Only person that survived is the cell to hear them, but she's a way off from Lordell. I see. Well, we'll be off for now. Sorry to have bothered you. Again, the man nodded. I sure you will be. I'm sure of it. <laughs> no one wished to speak of it, but they're going to go ahead and... Oh, no, they're just going to share knowing ga uh, glances at each other. Seeing the glazed look in each other's eyes and sickly pallor each had begun to exhibit... It was more than obvious that they had fallen prey to a virulent plague. Silently, Locklear hoped that they would reach a temple soon before they all died of it. Oh, brilliant. Well, let's go see if we can find Michelle the healer. Because uh, that's... She sounds like somebody who might be of assistance under these circumstances. Um, are we anywhere interesting? I don't think so. I mean, we're getting close to L'Oreal, I suppose. Now... Just cruise right along. Actually, I keep doing this. No, oh boy. Here we go again. With that shit. I need to uh, keep my eyes open, because... Ah, well, da, da, da. That's what I thought. Ah, it's a board health box, my favorite. Okay. Cosplay. Oh, Kosa Fifi. You will invite him into your house, yet you know him not. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried? Once you get to know him, the thing he will no longer be. Oh my god, these are so feeble. Alright, well, we've got to make something dirty out of this. Hmm. Oh yeah. We can spell shit. Shit Ralt. Shitnald, son of Ragnald. Oh man, this is fantastic. Shit past. <laughs> uh, I kill me. Shit. <laughs> this is like Mad Libs, only for idiots. Oh, shit pelt. Skinned from the shit beast. Highly marketable. Shit peat. Shit peed. <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. Shit need. Shit read. Oh my god, these are just excellent. This is the greatest moment of my life right here, you guys. Steer read. Okay. Fear read. Oh, I wonder if he can spell fish, man. I love that band. Oh, you can't. Poison, 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 poisoned. All right, let's just finish this. I can't really figure out anything else. They must have intentionally um, done these so that you can basically just spell all kinds of horrible, dirty stuff. Stranger, stranger than fiction, and that's a bunch of bullshit that we don't need right now. Give him the whetstone. And continue on into L'Oreal as beplagued as we are. Oh shit! <laughs> I should have slowed down. This is gonna be a little bit of a problem. And I 
can't really go around. I kind of can, obviously, but hopefully this asshole doesn't cause me any problems. Now, does that count as adjacent? I don't think it does. Oh, balls. Let well, me put Owen in a corner. Uh, we can't really... Can we? We can move him a bit. Oh, good. He's going to protect him. Um, I kind of think I should move over here. Helps a little bit. Um, I'm more concerned about this guy now, so I'm going to try to take him out. Ow. We really need to find an inn or something like that. Oh, this is actually not a good idea, because that's going to take some of his... Uh, some of his health away. I'm gonna zap this guy. And then never do it again. <laughs> uh, have him rest up a bit. If it will do anything, I don't know if it will. Oh, shit! Well, tell you what, folks. We're probably gonna have to reload, but I will get us to the same spot again. I'm just gonna beat the tar out of this guy for the satisfaction of knowing that I could do it, even though I've gotten Locklear mortally wounded. Oh, do this. Yeah, that's that's the ticket. That doesn't do anything. No! <laughs> Clicking! Mouse-based interface! Damn it! It's like pulling teeth here, you guys. Good gracious. There we go. Alright, well, Locklear is in terrible shape. Um, and as we've established, going to a healer is prohibitively expensive. We really don't even have the money to do it. So I'm going to try to get our progress roughly to this spot, and uh, I will meet you then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, back where we started, roughly. So we should be running into a party of Mordhell warriors, and I've found the culprits. And I'm going to see if I can attack them. Oh, shit. Well, that didn't work out, but we're going to try our very, very best. Um, ooh. This is already not going well. Uh, let's go over. Poke them. Poke them like you've never poked them before. Oh, that's lucky, actually. I don't know who's really next in the order here, but I like the idea of blinding him. And then we can attack this guy. This is going to work out brilliantly. Maybe. <laughs> oh, dear. This guy... not real concerned about this guy at this point, because he's going to have to go around his buddies here in order to harass Owen. I'm mostly just concerned about getting Owen killed is the issue. Okay. We're going to stun this guy. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. And he's hemmed in. Okay. And we can't really do anything with him. He's going to have to fight his way out, but he's not going to be successful. Our onslaught was too onslaughty. One difference between... Um, our progress now and our progress back when I managed to get Locklear killed is that um, I did kill that one lone Mordhell warrior and he had some interesting armor on him which is the first racial armor that we've uh, run into in this game uh, it's elven armor and while your men can wear it I don't think that it really gives them an advantage unless they're elves of course um, uh, what's his butt here uh, <laughs> Gore. <laughs> Dear me, um, 
Gorath is uh, able to use stuff like that. I think he's able to use mortal armor, but I don't think... Ooh, that's a nice sword, actually. We might swap that out after uh, holding these blades here. Let's go ahead and trade. God damn it. Why, why did you sigh? Oh my god, you cry, baby. Alright, let's just do a little bit of inventory management, I guess. Um, this is tedious. What? No, take it. I don't, I don't. Pod the dead body. Don't put anything more on this body. Okay, fine. I ain't got no body. And it's doing that thing again where the corpses stack up next to each other. And as a result, you can't do anything to them. <laughs> I think there's one there. But then there should be one here. But then it's not working. And I don't know what the fuck. Fine. It's certainly not one of the better swords in the game. I mean, it's, it's just a plain broadsword, so... Okay, we're on our way to L'Oreal and speak of the devil. It's time to uh, get some rouge and some lipstick. Alright, let's see. Is there anything interesting around here? Well, there's a signpost probably saying L'Oreal, correct? <laughs> Thank you very much, Owen. You told me something I already knew. The building's windows were shabby. Even even money says it's a tavern. You don't pay much for windows when you have to replace them often. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, they're not interested in doing business right now. Probably because they're infested with plague. Um, the shop was closed, so we're going to have to probably wait until daybreak to do pretty much anything of interest here. Let's actually go ahead and just camp here. And we're losing some health because of the whole plague thing. I mean, you know, it's a... Uh... Okay, this looks like um, just a general junk shop, which is fantastic. Um, meaning we can sell most of this. It's not a very good price, though, I don't think. He has no use for that, of course. Sweet. Um... Let's trade these out. You ass bite. Well, let's get rid of all this extraneous armor. Actually, these are decent prices now that I'm looking at what he's actually saying. We'll have to probably backtrack a little bit and uh, sell some of this crap. Uh, or sell some of the crap that we left behind, but that's not a big deal. I'll see if he'll take this. He won't. Fantabulous! I'm rich, biatch! Okay. Um, we're still stuck with this, but I think I'm going to hold on to it just for yucks. I don't know. Okay, I can't really fix that. What else do they have for sale? Get a rope. Um... And they've got all the junk that we sold to them. Well, that's an interesting. Yeah, it's neat. All right. A thin little man greeted them at the door. I'm Kiefer Ailes Cook. Have you come by to buy or sell some gems? Oh, this is the guy that we're supposed to be looking for. He questioned in a frail voice. Locklear moved to the door. We're looking for a ruby that might have been stolen by a group of gray warriors. Have you purchased any gemstones from such men? I don't know what you're talking about, the man said quickly. I don't buy stolen merchandise. You might try to take, talking to a fellow that I ran into north of Hawk's Hollow about it, named Isaac, if I recall. Oh, for Christ's sakes. The man looked about nervously. I'm uh, not open for business right now. You'll have to come back later. Before Lockler could say another word, Kiefer had closed the door. I have 24 hours before we talk to Isaac. Uh, the house's occupant was talkative. Careful not to divulge any in details about their trip, Locklear steered the conversation towards the townspeople. Everyone here is fine folks, all except for Michelle the healer. I hope you're not planning to visit her. Why? Locklear asked. She's a snake. Well, that sucks. Ha, 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 ha. He's, oh, great. 
Told me I was going to die, but you know what? I got better. Oh, I felt horrible enough for three or four days and thought I was going to die, but no, I made it through alive. I tell you, I think she and Orno the Pale have some kind of deal. He's giving them some kind of contagion, and then she's administering some kind of phony medicine. It's indecent. Oh, interesting. Shell escorted them inside. The house was small but well appointed. Its furniture very tasteful indeed for someone who seemed to be only a commoner. You require my services, she stated. You are ill. Lockler shifted in his chair. You sound very certain of yourself. You have the signs. I can heal you, but I require payment. Twenty-five sovereigns. Will you pay? Well, based on that information that we just received, I'm going to say no. As yet, I think we will manage on our own, Lockler said, and he thanked her, their hostess. You have been very kind. All right. Well, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and check out this place here. And there's no one here. Okay, well, we found a nifty little shop. Let's see if we can go into the tavern. Luckily, wrapped on the tavern door. Wicka, wicka, rip, rip. Oh, yeah, we have to wait. Uh, let's just wait there. And we do seem to be losing uh, some health. Close sign hung by the door. Okay, maybe this is the contagion taking effect. All right. Um, well, tell you what, we're gonna go grab that stolen or stolen stuff. That stuff that I uh, got off these corpses. And since you guys probably don't want to see me backtrack all that, um, backtrack and get all that, I should say, I'm going to pause here and loot these corpses, and I will be right back. Well, today I learned something. Uh, apparently that plague doesn't, well, it might go away, but it doesn't go away in time for me to, uh, you know, not die. So I do have to pay her. <sighs> okay. We pay her, and she says, very well, she said, taking the money from Locklear. Lay back for a moment, and I will do my work. <laughs> I'm plugging a small vial of clear liquid. She passed it under her patient's noses and then patted them each on the head. You are all healed. You may go now. Are you serious? Unbelievable. Okay, well, that was some bullshit. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to do the backtracking thing again, but I did need to show you guys that. Just so that you know, if you decide to play this game after watching me play through it for some idiotic reason... <laughs> Uh, that, that's what happens. Uh, I should have been a little bit more wary, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna pick up where I left off here and, uh, go steal some more shit. Or not steal. It's not stealing if you take it from a thief. So, I'm gonna go pick up the stuff that I lawfully, uh, claimed as my own, just left on the side of the road. Yeah, that's it. Welcome back once again. Here we are. We're about to find Isaac again, and I hear his mom is a real bitch. There we go. Locklear caught sight of Isaac, whistling to his old associate. <whistles> the senor motioned for him to join their company. You can be CEO. I doubt you will have to meet with Prince Arutha. I don't remember if that's his derpy voice or not, but it is now. So did I, but we've been muddling about here taking care of a few other errands. It's just luck we happened upon you again. I shall consider it good fortune then, so what can I do for you? Tell me about your stolen gems. Where did you get that pair of gems? Did you, by any chance, purchase a ruby from Kiefer Ales Cook in L'Oreal? He told us he sold it to someone named Isaac, and the description he gave gave us sounded like you. Why? Oh, uh, what? You want to buy it from me? It's not like it's the only ruby in the world, you know. Uh, the ruby he sold you was stolen from a Sarani magician who was passing through the mutt. Garrison would like the stone back. We were hoping we could talk you into at least returning it to Kiefer to get your money back. I'm sorry to hear about you in dilemma, but I had no idea the stone was stolen when I was when I paid Kiefer's price, and I have my own little problem. I need the stone so I can pay off a sword crafter and get my blade repaired. Can't you pay him with gold? He specifically bartered in gems, and the wooby the wooby will wibber wibber will cover my cost plus a little more. Well, you're giving him a great deal, then. Why would you do that? I should have enough left over to eat for a month or more. Oh, he's going to give you change. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just a little piece of the ruby back to you. What if we can repair your sword for you? What? 
What, here in the middle of the world? Why don't we do it in the road? Since I don't have a workshop, I don't see that we can do it anywhere else. <laughs> uh, I can't work under these conditions. Well, I suppose my blade is fairly expensive and I'd hate to see it further damaged. It's conceivable you could do more harm than good, so unless you're really skilled at weapon craft, well... Do you think you're that good? Are you a bad enough dude to repair this sword? Well, Locklear has been working a bit on his weapon craft, and I'm thinking he might be able to give this a try. Good enough. Your blade? Please be careful, I paid quite a bit for it. And... Oh, alright. Well, I have to say this. You appear to know what you're doing. It looks much better than it did. And will it hold the edge? You cut up the whole of Delicon's Moss Rangers and it'd still be sharp for a month after. Well put. Well, it looked as if you've come through on your end of the bargain. Remind me to give you the ruby before you leave. Um, so where is this miracle working weaponsmith you were talking about? It might be worthwhile to go and have our own weapons repaired. I bet it's that gnome or whatever. Yeah. There's a shop in High Castle called Be the Battleworks. It's a long way to go, but the work is impressive. Okay. Ahem. Can I have my, uh, gem? As much as I would like to stand about gossiping, I suppose, yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, gem? Did I get it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Rubies. Common as a pebble on the beach, the pear-cut ruby was used in the Western Kingdom almost as frequently as golden sovereigns when the traders were making large pur purchases. While their values were dependent on their quality, they almost never garnered more than 400 sovereigns from a gems dealer. So, it's a magical fantasy land where gems are like sand on a beach. Well, that's fantastic. Um, I do think that we have a little bit more of the map to explore. Because we went up to Tearsog. But I think that there's some stuff that we that's in between that we need to take a look at between L'Oreal and Tearsog. So I'm going to cruise back up there. And I guess we'll have to make a really circuitous route back to Lamut, which I will spare you guys from just so that you don't have to see me trod through territory which we've seen before. So it's up to L'Oreal. I'm going to poke around here, see if there's anything interesting, and then swing back around to Lamut. And I think that that about does it for this area. Um, we've bought, we've gone along all these roads in here and into the hinterlands a bit, so we'll be progressing to the south here towards Crondor. But let's... Um, Let's head up to L'Oreal, and um, we'll see what we can see as we head north from there. Onward! Alright, we're on the outskirts of L'Oreal, as you can see. We're right next to an enormous building, and we are going to proceed in this direction. I think that there's one other item of possible interest here. So I'm going to see if we can locate it, and that looks like it might be it over yonder. Nope, that's just the creek running under the hills, although there is a Mordhill warrior there. So we're going to try and take him out. And I have had us camp until we're healed, so hopefully we'll be able to make short work of these guys. There's only two of them, thankfully. And you know the drill. Despair! Your eyes, they're feeling despairing-ish. English! <laughs> Alright, we're going to zap that dude. You guys kind of know how these, uh, these little battles of ours go. We kind of just blind the enemy incessantly and, you know, use the old Manfred Mann tactic. Excuse me, Manfred Mann and the Sunshine Band. Not to be confused with Casey and the Sunshine Band. What am I talking about? I'm gonna give him another blow to the eye. And hopefully kill him. Oh, and you go ahead and participate. Be a player participator, not a player hater. Excellent! Okie doke. Gold! Always believe in your soul. You've got the power to know. You're indestructible! And is this good? It's edible! 
Okay, well, I wonder if that's it. I thought that there was some kind of building here, though. I've got to admit, you guys, I, I do sort of know my way around. Um, yeah, there is a building. I just overshot it. What do you know? I made an, another mistake. It's just kind of my uh, modus operandi. Um, actually, did we go to the bridge before? Well, let's check out what this building is first. We can, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a temple. Incense swirled. We have been to a temple before, but we haven't been to this one. This one... is the same as the other one, it looks like. We can do curing and blessing and whatnot. Um, we can also be on the gong show and take this whole Let's Play show on the road. Uh, let's go ahead and talk. Acolytes escorted them. Short, declarative sentences. After passing through a ma uh, maddening series of arches, they finally were led into a large chamber upon whose floor a seven-rayed star was formed in mosaic by dark blue tiles. A small priest stood in the symbol center, his back turned towards them. Uh, we are looking for the high priest of this temple, Locklear said. Would you know where we could find him? I am he. It's the half... Man half... I was going to say how's the half man turned. <laughs> Don't ask why he's half a man. Locklear suppressed a gasp as the priest, at the priest's hideous visage. Stuck to the left side of his face was a dark brown strip of cloth. A ragged hole torn in it to allow a pinkish-looking eye to peer out at them. What is it that you want, he wheezed. <laughs> his frame shuddering with each breath. Are you new, acolytes? No. Locklear swallowed with some difficulty. Uh, we are travelers? Like I'm making him sound like a total teenager right now. As our... As all under the heavens are, the man said, making a feeble gesture at the vaulted ceiling above them. All travelers, please, let us talk a while. When at last many of the candles in the chamber, chamber had burned low, the priest nodded his head. I have enjoyed this, he said quietly. As have we, Locklear replied graciously, rising to leave. Oh, before I forget, where was the interesting statue again that you mentioned? The oracle? In the hills to the east of Malak's Cross, the priest replied. Perhaps your journeys will take you there soon. Oh, well, that's kind of a nice little tidbit. Um, we don't have any use for their services, I don't think. Let's... Yeah. Curing is not really what we need. Um, so we're just going to press on. I'm going to go quickly to the bridge. Just because... Well, I have to actually go that way anyways, come to think of it. So I'm going to. There's the corpses of our vanquished foes. And here we go. Ah! I had a feeling there was one more little bit of business to finish up. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. You can't see me. How could he not... <sighs> he was just faking it. There's three of them. Tarnation. Um, don't hurt him. Okay. Um, I don't want to get hemmed in over here, so I'm going to go over... None of these are really desirable. Take him out. He's gonna, he's gonna harass Owen. Um, maybe we run over... Oh, we can't really go very far, can we? Go over here. Stabby, stabby! Oh, beautiful short work of him, and now we're gonna get our despair on. Do it. There you go. We're gonna double team this guy here. And actually go ahead and cast that spell on him again. Um, the person that told me about the uh, burritos, who I should really look up so I can thank him specifically, not the burritos, the scrolls, the scrolls that look like burritos, um, mentioned uh, that Owen really becomes the most powerful character in the game. He's actually in, I believe, every chapter of the game, just about, um, I think with one exception. And um, as a result, he becomes quite powerful, and he gets a lot of fun little spells that he can use. Um, and you can see why. He's basically winning the game for us. Um, we basically just end up zapping people with the spare thy eyes over and over and over again, and it's like a instant win button. Yeah, win. 
All right. Got this guy left. Owen can chill out. In fact, I'm going to have him poke him with his mighty staff. There we go. And that's that. The party's abilities have increased. What a party it's been. Okay, so let's see. We've got some rations that we're going to divvy up. And give that to Gorath and this to Locklear. And I believe that what we're going to do at this point is take this to Lamut, because um, that's where our business is going to take us anyways. And is this any good? Yes. Just kind of divvying all, up, all the food up. Um, we're going to go to Lamut to sell the ruby now, and we're going to sell all the other, sh or not sell the ruby, but we're going to return it to its lawful owner, and then um, proceed from there. So I'm going to loop around the north part of this valley and uh, head to Lamut, and we will press on from there. Alright, we've made it to Lamut. Uh, I've spent the night here. We're all ship shape and ready to rock. We're going to go shopping and sell all of our stuff. Um, finally, we can get rid of this. Ooh, that is a lot of scratch right there. I guess I could have given it to Locklear, but I really don't intend on ever using him for uh, uh, archery or anything like that, so no big deal. Actually, we need to see if we can buy an armorer's hammer because I finally ended up breaking ours. And it looks like we don't have the option of buying one here, so I'm just going to sell off our shit. It's not going to make that big of a difference. It's going to get us a sovereign or two. Go ahead and pawn all this crap off. I wonder he won't take this, I bet. Yeah. Too bad. And let's see if we can whet these. Coo whip. Go ahead and do that with that. And ooh, let's give this over to Locklear real quick so that he can Yeah. Okie doke. He's not gonna take that. You can actually apparently sell the ruby, but you sell it for like two sovereigns. I'm assuming that's intentional so that if you do happen to accidentally sell it, you can buy it back relatively easily. Okay. Well, we're looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of inventory management. Ha! Beautifully done, if I do say so myself. Okay. So we have a whopping 300 sovereigns here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And that'll do for that. All right, let's go to the garrison here. And we do have the ruby. So uh, he's asking if we're here to return it, and I say yes. I'm glad you found this, he said, placing the gemstone in a small velvet line box. It will be good to get Makala off my back. I've sent so many men out looking for this blasted thing, there's hardly anyone left in the garrison. He retrieved a pouch from a locked chest at the corner of the room. Here you are, a hundred gold sovereigns. Thank you, gents. Wow. Fantastic. That's a lot of money. Um, let's uh, go ahead and see what we can waste our money on. We could buy... Light crossbow. Oh boy, there's just so many delicious choices. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, ooh. What was that scroll? Magical scroll. Eyes of Ishap. I think we... Uh, we don't have that, I'm sure, but... Uh, I'll have to think about what to use that money for. We might go back and get a broadsword. I don't really know for sure. Gain some abilities, probably. Let's go ahead and take a look. Weapon craft and defense. Defense, armor craft, and accuracy melee, which he really needs. Okay, well, that's good. Um, I think I'll pause here and think about what to purchase with our newfound wealth. And uh, we should shortly begin our trip south towards Krondor so that we can figure out what the hell is going on, what this mess with Gorath, the guy with the pale mustache, what his deal is, and what Owen's deal is, and why Locklear is so devilishly handsome. I'm gonna get to the bottom of a lot of things in the ensuing episodes, so I look forward to seeing you then. Ciao. Arrivederci. Bonjour.